Welcome to WCTV Sports. I'm Christian Fernandez, your host tonight, with Matt Lenz. I'm here. Hello, he, He's everyone. been gone for a whole year. No, just like a <laughs> month or so. But um, we're back. We're him high school girls varsity basketball. They had their first win against Sturgis West um, on Wednesday. And um, hopefully they can take all that knowledge and apply it to this game, because this game is going to be much tougher against the uh, Pontiquit Lakers. That's um, right. Matt was just telling me they have a record of two and four overall. But, but both of those wins have come within the South Coast Conference, so this is going to be a tough challenge for the Vikings to face here tonight. And the audio of our background has now changed to rap music, so we'll try to do the best we can to hurry this along. Um, Wareham came a long way uh, that last game. There were lots of three-pointers, lots of turnovers, high defense high intensity, but low fouls. I was really surprised. I expected a lot more fouls with that much contact. But hey, maybe this will be a similar game and maybe we can show this team we're still just as tough as we were against Sturgis West. That was that was a big game, big win for them uh, earlier this week. You know, they doubled them up pretty much. It was, yeah, uh, and, and it was a I think first was win of the season. Let's Ooh. carry over that momentum That's into right. the next exactly. game. That's exactly. the positivity we need right. to show that they can do it, and let's keep going. So we'll be right back shortly with the starting lineups, and um, maybe we'll see the Viking cheerleaders again. I haven't seen them in practicing in the hall, so I'm not really sure. But I know that they are still home, so hey, maybe we'll get lucky. This competition is, in court, is conducted in accordance with the rules and regulations of the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association and the South Coast Conference. The game officials are responsible for administering the rules of the game. Their experience and integrity qualify them for this important responsibility. Athletes and fans are expected to demonstrate good sportsmanship to everyone here. Negative behavior will not be tolerated and result in expulsion from the gymnasium. The officials for tonight's game are Greg Belcher and Daniel Damish. The Lakers record in the league is two and one and two and four overall. The Viking, Vikings record in the league is zero and four and one and four overall. Uh, Poniquit's head coach is Tr Trevor Gagner and he's assisted by Peter Gallagher. <laughs> Starting for the Lakers, sophomore number one, Addison Taylor. Sophomore number two, Cynthia Morales. Freshman number five, Cecilia Lavrault. Freshman number ten, Hannah Kurosak. Kurosak. Sorry, it's, it's written bad. And finally, junior number eleven. Eva Dixon. Warham's head coach is Justin Oglevy, and he's assisted by Kendall Baptiste. And now, starting for the Vikings, freshman number 10, Mercedes Perry. Junior number 11, Carly Glover. Freshman number 14, Johnny Tompkins. Sophomore number 23, Zora Andrews. And junior captain number 25, Rihanna Phillips. Remind fans that food and drink are not allowed in the gymnasium and ask that you do not walk in front of the players' benches. At this time, please rise for the playing of the national anthem. Welcome to WCTV Sports coverage of Wareham High School Varsity Basketball. Tonight, the ladies take the court. The Lady Vikings host the Aponiquit Lakers. The Vikings are, what's their record again, please? One and four overall. One, one and four overall, that's right, but still looking for their first conference win. 
And meanwhile, the Lakers are two and four overall, but both of those wins have come against conference opponents. So this will be a tough challenge for the Vikings tonight. Zora Andrews was one of the heavy three-point shooters um, this past Wednesday. That was a big win. Wareham's definitely looking to continue that momentum into tonight's game. Nice passing by Aponiquit. They three. missed that first basket. It's going to be a little short. Tompkins Johnny Tompkins. She, she makes her way to the basket. It went out of bounds on Lakers. It's going to be a wear handball. Tompkins inside bounce pass, but it's taken away by Aponiquit. Oh, just off the front of the rim. Turnover in favor of the Lakers. Johnny Tompkins is wearing some kind of brace on her finger there. Yeah, it looks like a thumb wrist guard. Offensive rebound by the Lakers. And it's still gonna be Lakers ball uh, out on Madison Perry. That was by Morales. number two. Number two, Cynthia Morales. Lakers are first on the board. Two to zero with 6.50 to go. On Wednesday, Johnny caused a lot of the turnovers. Zora Andrews tied up two to two with 6.30 to go. Captain Zora Andrews getting the first points for Wareham tonight. Long three for Aponiquit, gonna be a little overshot. They're calling it out of bounds against the Lakers. Yep. That could have very easily been out of bounds on Wareham. Very good defense by Brianna. Mm -hmm. Johnny needs help. Find Zora Andrews. He's getting double Whoa. teamed. Tried to get it to Carly Glover. Just over her head. Nice little misdirection on the pass. Honiquit uh, taking a lot of threes early. Trying to get that early lead, maybe. Mm -hmm. Find their rhythm, too. Is that a uh, five sec violation against Aponiquit? Johnny's Tompkins is drawing double coverage tonight. They're double teaming her. Maybe they see the uh, brace as a. Uh, Maybe, um, Maybe they a think weakness. she's hurt. Yeah. So they're gonna heavy, heavy cover her for. Oh, nice. Nice. Steal. And that's a little bit showing what she did last game. Yep. Oh, Kylie just wasn't looking the right way. Still, Pana quits ball. I think Johnny went in and Carly went out. And uh, Carly was had good defense of mm -hmm. um, number ten, uh, Kurasak, but um, she just wasn't looking. Nice movement by Wareham, and it's gonna go off of Mercedes Perry. Pretty even game so far with 5.22 left in the first quarter, tied at two. 
One basket for each team so far. Wareham showing that desire that they had on Wednesday. Mm. Foul on the floor. Fouls against Wareham. Um, Mercedes Perry, her second, team second. It was on the floor. Yeah, it was one of the first things I picked up the official saying was no shot, no shot. So I thought maybe it could have been an offensive foul. But no, it had bounced on the floor when mm -hmm. they fouled her. Mm -hmm. She didn't have control of the ball. Mm -hmm. Nice by block Wayne there by the a, a body block by Rihanna. Nice moves by Johnny. Going to call a reach in foul by Johnny. Fouls against Wareham. Johnny Tompkins, her first team third. Nice cross by Aponiquit. Wareham isn't that fooled though. Wareham setting up a tight defense to keep an Aponiquit outside the arc. It looks similar to what the boys do. Five on the shot clock. They're going to have to take the shot. That's off the rim. Zora Andrews with the rebound and she rips it clean. Yes, she does. Johnny nice. Tompkins trying to go in. Nice effort to take that ball away. Pass is going to be tipped and intercepted by the Lakers. Inside, no good. Kurasak for three. Got that one. Hannah Kurasak for three. <laughs> Reach in this time by the Lakers. Fouls against the Lakers, number two, Cynthia Morales. Her first, team first. Three fifty to go. Kersak has given the Lakers a five-two lead. Oh, stolen away by Lavrault. Nice layup, but it doesn't go in. Kurasak with the rebound. Lakers are getting themselves a lot of second, third. Rebound, chances. Glover gets it up to Tompkins. Nice One crossover. on three. Rebound, Andrews. <coughs> Excuse me. Kurosak with another three and sinks it. Hannah Kurosak for three. Two to eight. Lakers pulling away. Bounce pass over to Glover. She's going to cycle back outside the arc. Look for something to get set up. Wareham needs to get open. She needs help. Oh, don't touch it, Wareham. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. That's a backcourt. Back court. I know that she wanted to save it, but mm. at the same point, because her teammate threw it out, it was almost better to chase it down and let, let it go out of bounds. Or let Aponica pick it up, and then you're right there. Timeout, uh, where him? In defensive position. Another nice thing about the girls' game is there's no DJ, so we don't have to shut off the microphones right away. Wareham is showing a lot of really good defense and a lot of good placement, but uh, Aponiquit does have really good um, ball handling and passing. They need to break some of that passing up. Wareham's making good shots too, and I noticed this in the first game I covered this year. I mean, the effort is there, the determination is there. You know, they, they sometimes might need a little more luck on their side. I mean, they're making good shots, they're getting good looks. They just gotta, it's, 
you got to get the get it to fall for the girls. That's all. And fouls are low. I mean, there are a few, but it's still low. It's not like it's a. Uh... No, and and um, I felt maybe they were going to get into a little bit of trouble because it seemed like they were starting to foul early, but they have settled in. They're playing clean. And Coach Ogilvy called a timeout at a good time. Mm -hmm. Calm them down, set mm -hmm. them up, make, them, make those plays. Nice move. Gonna get an open look at a three. And no, no good. Break. Off the rim. Kurasak. That's it's gonna be off of yeah, off, the, off of Tompkins. Bounced off of her while she was trying to chase it down. Brianna comes back in. Mm -hmm. That's inside pass. Good defense under the basket. Zora Andrews, nice defensive rebound. Yep. Right where she needed to be. Two minutes to go. Still two to eight. Hernandez to Tompkins for three. Set up the screen to off give the Johnny rim. a shot. Out of bounds off of, oh, they're calling it off of. Uh, off of the Poniqua, yep. White ball. They called it off of Lakers. That was a really close call. It was. Nice. Open under the basket. Phillips for Phillips. Two. Four nice to eight. Play. That was a really good play. Kersak finding herself in that corner again where she's been. Andrews, nice rebound. Set up again. already already drained a couple of threes tonight. Traveling called against Johnny. She tried to step through the uh, defensive end and took an extra step. And she got bumped too, so I was looking for a foul there, to be honest. It was close. Mm. Nice. nice. Good job. Oh, no. All right. That would have been a bad About a minute to go. It was a good takeaway by Wareham. High shot by Hernandez. The Lakers. Traveling called against the Lakers. White ball. Oh no. 21 with the steal away from Carly Glover. She does not make the layup though. McKay did a good job getting back on defense and getting in the way of that shot. Cutting off that, uh, that lane to the basket. Nice trade off by Aponiquit. That's up and in. Addison Taylor for two. 25 seconds to go. Four to 10. She needs help. She needs help. Wow, why isn't that there a foul? Oh, oh. She threw her on the floor. Fouls against Lakers, number five. Cecilia LeBron, her first team second. Ball comes with 7.5 seconds remaining in the quarter. Oh. Wareham facing a nice defense four to by Wareham. That's the end of the first quarter. Aponiquit leads Wareham, 10 to four. We're gonna, uh, well, we don't have to sign off. It's only the end of the quarter. Um, it's not a bad score. The only reason that the Lakers are up is because for the, the, the two or three three-pointers that they mm -hmm. got. I've seen Wareham do those too. They just need time. Lakers seem to be very fast on their feet. 
Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things where they have to overcome. I think maybe if they show some double team coverage against um, Kurosak, yeah. anytime she has the ball. Can't leave her open, for sure. She's, she's uh, settling herself in these near corners over here, looking for those threes and getting some looks. And then they just pass it around and make Wayham run, mm -hmm. and then they put it back over to her when she's by herself. Number one, Addison Taylor is also in that same position. Mm. Back with the second quarter. Wareham ball coming in. Four to ten. Lakers. Tompkins with a three. Johnny Tompkins for three. That's what they need. A couple more of those. That, that was a nice looking shot. And I thought it was going to be a little short, but she had the perfect arc on it. It was nothing but net. Kurosak again. But that's no gonna good. Be Rebound run. Lakers. Goes back to Kurosak. And Taylor. Ooh. Eva Dixon for three. That's three Lakers players that can throw up threes. Johnny off the rim. She got, got her own rebound. rebound. All right. Johnny Tompkins for two. Nine to 13. Wareham's only down by four. Nice block by Zora Andrews, but it goes back in. Cynthia Morales by two. Out of bounds against Mercedes Perry. She was uh, heavily defended by um, Kurosak. Lakers are going to make a substitution, bring Ashlyn McDonald in for Ava Dixon. There you go. Stop those threes. It was that uh, double team coverage you were talking about earlier, too. And Phillips under the basket to get the rebound. Uh-oh. They're OK. They haven't crossed the line yet. Tompkins nice nice pass bounce into pass Rihanna. To Phillips. Gets it out to Carly Glover. Oh, oh so close. 6-11. Foul by Zora Andrews. Foul against Wareham, Zora Andrews. Her first, team fourth. That puts Morales at the line for two. She misses the first. The first. Short. Johnny Tompkins with the rebound, but off of the feet of Hernandez. Ooh. Oh, dangerous. Andrews almost trampled by Tompkins. Wow. Hannah Kurosak for two, three, nine, eighteen. Nice ball handling by Glover. Bounces off her shoe. What happened? I don't know. Five seconds? Oh, because they didn't cross the line? I, I don't, I don't know. I, I didn't see any kind of signal. I thought maybe somebody called a timeout. But no, it's a Wareham turnover. Kurosak again, she, wow. she's dangerous from that corner. And a Kurosak for three. That's her fourth three on the night so far, and they've all been from that same area of the floor. Almost exactly that same yes. point. Yes. When they see her go up there, they should just have two people flock to her and mm. stay on her. 
But like I said before, Addison Taylor can also throw it up as can Ava Dixon. So with that many three-point shooters, you can almost put it anywhere you want. Mm. So next year, we'll be a little more seasoned, a little more right. adult. Yep. Everybody will have a full season under their belt. They'll have the experience. They'll know what their coach expects of them, because uh, he's brand new, too. Yeah, that's right. It's his first year. Nice pass from Tompkins. Traveling call again to Maz, um, Mercedes Perry. 5.14 to go in the second quarter. 9 to 21, Lakers lead. Hernandez doing a really good yeah. job on Kurosak. I was about to say she they're just closely needs to guarding stay her now. with her. She's doing a really good job because Kurosak just switched sides and uh, they're still right there. Trying to disrupt the handoff. Good job. Good job to stay with her. Kurosak trying to muscle her way through. Johnny Tompkins with a rebound. Jump ball. Oh, jump ball. The possession arrow goes the way of a Poniquit. Hernandez going right back in Kurosak's pocket. That's your point, Christian. That's exactly what you were calling out. And she's doing a very good job staying with her. She's right on her. Kurosak's getting frustrated, too. You can see it in her face. Behind the back save for Morales. Johnny Tompkins for two. Coast to coast Johnny for Tompkins. Tompkins for two. Wareham down by half. Look at Hernandez. That is perfect. Nice, nice. And they took it away, good job. Great defense by the Vikings. Gets it to Glover, trying to get it inside. She can foul. foul. All right. <laughs> foul against the Lakers, number 10, Hannah Kursak, her first team third. Tompkins will take it out for the Vikings. Oh. Just off the fingertips of Hernandez. And there goes Hernandez back to cover Kursak. Sorry, Andrews did a good job of calling out where Kurosak was, too. So if they Jump get ball. Hernandez this is going to be place. favor of Wareham. Time out. I got you. Time out. Time out. Lakers. Wow, they are wicked frustrated taking Hannah out like that. Um, she's not totally out, but Hernandez is doing a really awesome job covering her. She is. I'm impressed. And it has stopped the flow of the Lakers. It completely interrupted their whole flow because getting it over to Hannah, either Hannah takes the shot mm -hmm. or she passes it on to another player. Mm -hmm. With her out of the, the cycle, they seem flustered on where to send the ball. Like they, they need her. To you're going to work on her stamina too because you're forcing her to run cross court to try to get open. And Hernandez is barely winded at all. Like <laughs> She's also staying right with her. So yeah. even if she goes to the baseline to cross to the other side of the court, it's not like they can feed her for a layup. Right. And they tried. Yeah. But Hernandez picked up the ball, gave it to Zora, right. Andrews, and then Wareham had the ball. They're like, wow, oh my god. We've, we've held them. Um, Wareham only got a two-pointer in this time, mm. but we've we've held them to this score for three minutes. Uh, 
off the hands of Carly Glover. Wow, that's a nice layup. Addison Taylor for two. Tompkins with a hook shot. Johnny Tompkins for two. Wareham still only down by 10. And again, it was just those early three-pointers was the reason yeah. for the lead. Yeah. Hernandez has Kurosak locked. Wow. Wow. Ava Dixon, 4-3. There you go, Dixon's put up a couple of three-pointers tonight as well. Good depth for Ponaquit. You take one player out of the game, they can, they have somebody else to step up. Pass it off to Glover. Nice, nice save job to get by Hernandez. Oh. oh, elbowed in the face. Showing her toughness, getting right back up and heading down to the defensive end of the court. Out of bounds against the Lakers. It's gonna go over to Wareham. One minute, 48 seconds before the break. Ponaquick currently has Wareham doubled up 26 to 13. Double team on Tompkins. Fouls against the Lakers, number two, Cynthia Morales, her second team fourth. Double team on Tompkins again. Yeah, they've, they've been sticking to her all night. And still over the double team. Foul against Dixon. Foul against the Lakers. Ava Dixon, her first team fifth. Mercedes Perry to the line, shooting two. Perry's going to get a couple of free throws here. This is her first. Nice. Hey, second one's good. Nice adjustment. Thir 14, 26. Warham down by 12. A minute 25 to go. Long Switch. three. There's Dixon. Ava Dixon, 4-3. Ball's gonna go over to the Lakers. 14 to 29, wear him down by 15. A minute 13 to go. Nice block. <laughs> It just didn't fall. Well done. 50 seconds. Nice rebound by Zora Andrews. Tompkins gets fouled. And she's going to get two out of it. Fouls against the Laker, Isabel Keen. Her first team sixth. Johnny Tompkins in the line, she two. Oh, in and out. <laughs> yeah, off the face of the Lakers. So it's going to be Wareham ball. Finds Glover. 42 seconds. Carly with a nice shot. But off Andrews the tried to get it, could not get there. You can hear the crowd saying, stay with her. Yeah. 
going to be Wareham ball. 17 seconds on the clock. 29-14, Laker lead. Double teamed again. Yeah. She needs help. Oh, Stolen away by to set Kersak. The screen for the Kersak's layup is no good. <laughs> 1.5. You're just gonna chuck it in. Mm. I would say into Andrews and well. Glover's just gonna put up a shot from the half and it's gonna fall short. So 29-14, Lakers leading Wareham at halftime. And uh, we're gonna go mic silent for a little bit while we uh, enjoy our break. And we'll be right back with uh, more girls varsity basketball action. Um, now is a good, huh? well, we're coming back because the, the time is going to run out. It's a minute and a half. Wareham still hasn't returned from the locker room. Uh, maybe someone should go get them. Um, and, and everyone's talking. It's not like, I, I don't know what it's like. Like, I don't know. This, has to, this happened last game. But it was the other team that didn't come back, oh. not our team. I was gonna ha mention that. Oh, here, here they come. Or there's Hernandez. Is um, if you're watching us tonight, you're watching us on Facebook.com/WarehamTV, or you can watch us on WarehamTV.org, our website, and you can see from the education stream. Mm -hmm. um, when this game gets edited, it will be on our YouTube page at youtube.com slash wearhamtv. <laughs> Whoa. All right, so getting ready to start the third quarter, second half of tonight's game. We're here facing a 29 to 14 deficit. Leading scores for the first half for Aponiquit. It's been Hannah Kurasek and Ava Dixon. Kurasek has 12, Dixon nine, all three pointers. And in the uh, second quarter, Wareham put in 10 points. Yeah, 10 points. And, and Aponiquit um, scored 19. Yeah. Johnny Tompkins is leading the scoring for Wareham with nine. Andrews and Phillips also on the board with a basket each. And Aponica will bring it in to start play in the third quarter. I do not see uh, Hernandez out. Maybe they're giving her a little rest or letting see if Zora Andrews can do the same heavy defense. Well, she was giving Kurosak a little space, but she closed on her fast as soon as she got the ball. Three-pointer by Cecilia Laval for three. Glover from Carly the top Glover. of the It's close, off the rim. Taylor. Wareham has to shut down this double dribble. Yep. But Wareham has to shut down this three-point attack of the Poniquit. Let's see if they do the double team on Johnny Tompkins as I have been. Right. Ooh, oh, nice stolen steal. away. Oh, wow, she's really hurt. It looks like that is the case. So she didn't go to the floor because anyone hit her. 
she was going in such a manner that when she twisted to shoot. Yeah, she's, she's favoring that right ankle. She can barely put any weight on it. And she did get the basket. Yes, she did. Zora Andrews, fast break up the right. Glover for three. A little short. Nice Sadies rebound by Wareham. Tried to get it up. White ball. Rihanna Phillips for two. Rihanna Phillips for two. And she was fouled, so she gets the chance for the Foul against play. Lakers. Brooks Generazio, her first, team first. Rihanna Phillips aligned shooting one. Oh, no defense at all. Addison Taylor for two. Nice defensive play there by um, Johnny Tompkins. 16-36. Glover's wide open. Goes for the rebound up and over. It's gonna be a foul against Madison. Nope, they're calling Johnny. Called it on Tompkins. Mercedes, sorry. I'm confused. Wide open three as Phillips was coming over to defend. They said the foul is against Johnny Tompkins. Work the inside, and Aponica puts it down. Cecilia LeBrock for two. Layup by Wareham. Andrews for two. Wareham down by 20. Mercedes Perry with the rebound. Gets it to Johnny Tompkins. She's gonna break. Foul on the floor. Foul against the Lakers, Cecilia LeVrault. Her third. She needs Two's to be careful now. The board. It's a five. Well, I don't know how many she fouls, so she has. Well, a little miscommunication between the scorer's table and the officials. Mr. He said five. Was on. I don't think she came, I don't think they made any substitutions, so. Tompkins with the rebound. Watch out, Tompkins. She's drawing three on her right now. She's gonna stop. Oh. It's a long two and it's in and out. So close, five minutes to go. Tompkins with a rebound. Good defense by Perry. Glover. Good looking shot, but unfortunately off the rim. Zora Andrews with the rebound, hands off to Johnny Tompkins. 18 to 38, Wareham down by 20 with 4.30 to go. Uh, off the foot of somebody. Foul by Zora. That's going to send Foul against Donald. Wareham, number 23, Zora Andrews. Her second, team second. Mc Ashley McDonald to the line, shooting two.
Solid backboard in. Yeah, right off the square. This is her second. Nice. Mercedes again. No one had covered at all. Number five, Cecilia Levrault for three. Hernandez is back in the game. Yep. Johnny Tompkins for two. 20 to 42. Wear him down by 22 with 3.30 to go. There we go again. That's that matchup we were watching in the first half. Hernandez against Kurosaki. for two. We saw Kurosaki get very frustrated, uh, but now Johnny Tompkins double teamed. She didn't have any help and had it taken away from her. She's very tired. She's been out there practically the whole game. I don't think she's come to the bench once. Addison Taylor for two. <laughs> Traveling fouled against the Lakers. It's going to be Wareham ball. Timeout, Wareham. It's a good time to take a break. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking that um, Johnny's been playing very well, but she may need a bigger break than just this. Yes or she might hurt herself. Lover will inbound. Lover off the rim. Out of bounds against the Lakers. It's going to go to Wareham. There you go. That's a smart coach. Give her a break. Let her come back in maybe in the fourth quarter. Inside. Wow. Where's that call? <laughs> Foul against Zora. For, foul against Wareham, Zora Andrews. Her third, team third. The Peralt's going to get the chance for the three-point play now. And she and makes she gets it. it. So it's a three-point turnover. Wareham down by 29. Aponiqua is staying aggressive defensively. Fouls against the Lakers, Hannah Kurset, her second, team third. <laughs> Cecilia Levant for two. Brault is leading the scoring for the Lakers here in the second half so far. With two Hernandez minutes left in the third quarter. Off the backboard, Mercedes Perry with the rebound. Nice save by Glover. Watch that line. She's got good court awareness. She knew where she was. Oh. Off the front of the rim. Get there, be first. Addison Taylor for two. 20 to 53, a minute and a half to go. I could hear um, Johnny Tompkins from the be bench saying that she wanted to go in, and the coach was like, You can take a longer break. Well, she's been on the floor all night, she deserves it. But the desire is there, the fire is there, that's good. 
Jump ball is uh, Taylor tried to take it away from Glover. Uh, it's going to go to Wareham. Glover is going to come out. Tompkins is going to come in for the last minute. I'll say this. I, I, I know this is only my second Get game, but the. Get it! Wow. Ponica with another lay in. It's McKaylee McPhillips for two. 20 to 55. The heart is Lakers. there in the Vikings. There's no doubt about that. I thought maybe Tompkins was going to set a screen up there. Wow! wow. Nice! Three Johnny shot. Tompkins! 4 3. <laughs> 25 seconds. Maybe if they slow it down, good for one shot. Mm -hmm. I think Aponica will probably try to hold it and take the last shot of the quarter. Tompkins with a nice swamping defense. Found a lane to the, to the rim. Did she put it up? Be there. Nope. Uh, Ran out of time. She's holding her wrist. She just couldn't get a grip on it. Third quarter ends with Aponiquit leading 55 to 23. This is going to be a very serious uh, next quarter. Neither team has a lot of fouls. Mm. I mean, it, even if you take the from the first half, that's only seven fouls for Wareham. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of fouls they can, well, I mean, theoretically they can give what? Three. Uh, Three, three more fouls before they go into foul trouble. Yep. But Aponiquit's at the same point. Yeah. So uh, I see you could probably get pretty physical um, to well, stop and, the clock. And Aponiquit you don't just wanna... hit the limit at the end of the first half. So. Right. And Aponiquit hasn't been really solid from the line. Um, right. I think like 50%. Right. So sending them to the line is in a detri detriment depending on who you send to the line. But to Wareham's credit, Aponiquit hasn't found themselves at the line very often tonight either. Glover's looking a little tired too. Keely McPhillips for two. 23 to 57. Nice break on the ball by the Lakers. Oh, she grabbed it, too. Now she's going to get an open look at a three, and she knocks it down. I don't have her 15. I don't either. Number 15. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Ashley McDonald for two. Hernandez and Andrews are now switching off who they're covering on a moment's notice. Glover with a three off the rim. Long pass up ahead. And a lay in for the Lakers. Kaylee McPhillips for two. Timeout, Lakers. He called a timeout and he just wanted to substitute players and not a timeout, but the referee says, you said timeout. <laughs> <laughs> Wareham has some players out, but Johnny Tompkins is still on the court. Glover is still on the floor. Glover is still on the court, as, as is Zora Andrews. Mm -hmm. Andrews is going to take the feed. Zora Andrews for two. 
25-64. This is McDonald. Tompkins saves it before it goes out of bounds. Gives it up to Andrews. You know, we don't have 43 either. I think these might be people from their JV team or something like that. Possible. Continues to be good ball movement from Aponiquit. Nice block. I don't know how there was a travel there. I mean, she got it and immediately passed it. So I don't know where an extra step was taken, but. I think they're calling the roll from the floor to stand up. Maybe, I don't know. Tompkins gets the rebound. She's gonna stop up and put up a shot. It's gonna go off the rim. Okay. Glover's gonna get a look at a three. Oh. That's in and out. Andrews pulls the rebound. Gets it out to Tompkins. You know, foul against Keene. Foul against the Lakers, Isabel Keene, her second team fourth. Uh-oh. All right, don't, don't touch, touch it, White. There you go. That's Isabel Keene. Isabel Keene for two. To her first basket of the night. 25 to 66, four and a half to go. Tompkins with a nice Johnny. shot. Tompkins, 4-2. She's been the leading scorer for the Vikings tonight. Nice defensive move by Andrews. Rebound by number 31. I want to give uh, credit Ambia to Amya Irving. Irving on the floor there too. But she was able to knock that away, keep Aponiquit from gaining possession and keep that play alive for the Vikings offense. Genazaro took the Generazio. Uh, Generazo. And I think she took a pet, she got the pass from, uh, was it Keen? Keen get the assist on that one? Oh. Shots by number 30, ja Jazira Lima. Ooh. Just couldn't sink in. Foul against Wareham, Johnny Tompkins, her third team, fourth. Rebound by Andrews. Andrews needs help, finds Tompkins. That's a good looking shot. Unfortunately, a little off the mark. But she made a good shot nonetheless. That should be their handball. Wild pass for Lakers. Andrews is going to come out and uh, 
Hernandez is going to come back in. Tompkins, the only player left on the the court now from starting lineup. Kaylee McPhillips for two. Two ten to go. Lakers is just so far ahead. Tompkins from the free throw Johnny line. Tompkins for two. The Wareham's not giving up. Everyone's running and everyone's trying. Defense has got their hands up. Players are looking for the ball off the glass. Three-pointer, oh. Jazara. Nice job Almost to keep it, it alive, very good. Tompkins gonna step into a three and that's off the blackboard. Tompkins able to chase it down after that pass went over the head. I can't believe she has so much energy to still run up and down the court. This is why she's one of the captains. <laughs> As I was saying it. You cannot blame her. She, she has played pretty much this entire game, all for what, maybe two, three minutes? Uh, Ring around the rim and in for Brooke, Brooke two. Generazzo. Mercedes Perry going to come in for Johnny Tompkins. She's only in ninth grade. We have three more years of some great plays from her. Yeah. I'm sure she's all right there. She was uh, checking her own pulse as she was coming to the sideline. Want to make sure she wasn't hyperventilating on the sideline. Jump ball. We're going Wareham's way. Position <laughs> in favor yeah. of the Vikings. Hernandez will take it out. McKay, it was a pass to Jazara. Shot clock's off. I mean, Aponico could just hold it here if they wanted to. Uh-oh. She's got it. Jump ball in favor of the Lakers. <laughs> Hernandez tried to list, lift up McKay before she let go of the ball. <laughs> and that is going to do it. Pontefoot coming away with the 72 29 win over the Vikings. Drive safe, have a nice night. Thank <laughs> you too. <laughs> well, that's gonna be it for tonight. Um, the girls didn't get another win, but they never stopped. Um, Johnny Tompkins, um, Matt just tallied up her score. Um, unofficially got 18 points for the game. She only came out for a total of two minutes. That's, that was the point in I the was third quarter. She was in completely the whole game. Phenomenal, phenomenal player. Zora Andrews, very good defense, very good ball handling tonight. Um, and Carly uh, Glover was another one. And I want to talk about Gianna Hernandez too, because as soon as they stuck her On, against um, Kurosak, um, yes, Kurosak, Hannah Kurosak. Aponikwit's plan had to completely change because she stayed right with her, step for step, didn't let her have any breathing room, wouldn't let her get open as she was driving to the baseline. Kursak was getting frustrated having to go from one side of the court to the other to try to get open. And, and the, her, her own team was, was frustrated because yeah. they couldn't get her the ball. And when they tried to pass it to it, it would either go to Zora Andrews 
or Hernandez herself would catch in on um, that last quarter, the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, Ogilvy actually had them, um, Hernandez and Zora Andrews, switch off between Kurosak and um, I think Addison Taylor was the other one that they were really worried about. Mm -hmm. And that seemed to flo throw off um, the, the Lakers a little bit. But Lakers just had a, th a three-point party all day long. They and really did. And uh, it was largely in the first half as um, Kurosak and Ava Dixon was the other Laker that was just knocking down threes. And then once they were so far ahead, it was just they could just stay there. But where him for the, uh, I think in the third quarter, I said they held them to the same score for three minutes. Mm -hmm. And the first two quarters, they couldn't do that. That third quarter was a huge stop, and that was very important. And this is a huge learning, and I really hope they take this for further to other games and keep doing this. This is really positive. We really like to see this from the girls. I'm sure they will. It's a young team, and they have showed their heart and their determination. And no one so stopped running. Everyone kept absolutely. running. Absolutely. From first whistle to the last whistle. So this team has got a lot of potential, and they're going to go far. So that's going to be it for us tonight on Christian Fernandes. Along with Matt Lins. And um, this has been WCTV Sports. This has been Wareham Girls Varsity Basketball. And have a nice night. I'll be the best alive. I'm going to show you how to do it right. You'll see how you should believe.